Who's ready for spring break? Me! Are you excited for no school? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Welcome to the family fudge. So right now I am about to pack up all of the snacks and activities for our road trip. But before I do, I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I picked out. And you guys, even though I've shared so many travel packing videos on this channel, this trip is gonna be a little bit different because number one, the kids are all older now, so the types of activities and foods that they like has changed. And number two, our vehicle is different. A few months back, we bought an old RV and we've been fixing it up. And now this is going to be our biggest trip driving in it so far. So hopefully it doesn't break down on us. Now, I know that right now there are a lot of people coming into Florida for spring break, but we are actually leaving Florida for spring break. And we haven't exactly planned out all of our stops yet, but we're hoping to travel up the East Coast and explore that area because we've never actually done that before. And we think we're gonna be gone for at least a week, but it really just depends on the weather and how our RV is holding up. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off in the sort of healthier category with the fruits and the veggies. You know, I do like snacks on road trips, but I found that if I just eat junk, I feel like junk. So I'm making sure to get plenty of fruits and veggies as well. My personal favorite road trip snack is definitely a mandarin orange. I got a big bag from Costco. These ones are seedless, they are easy to peel. And when everybody in the car starts to peel open their orange, it just makes the whole car smell so good. Another healthy snack we love on road trips are apples, and we especially love these Mickey apples from Costco. Now these are technically gala apples, so they are super crisp and sweet. And a great thing about the Mickey apples is that they're the perfect size for little kids, so we don't have a lot of wasted apple when they're done. Now of course we love snacking on the fresh fruit, but when the fresh stuff is gone, we love these as well. These are the GoGo -Go Big Squeeze fruit pouches. And my kids really like these ones because they're a little bit bigger. They're not like baby food. They come in really fun flavors as well. This box has pineapple and mango, and this one has strawberry and pear. And then for our veggies, I have lots of cucumbers, I have celery, and I have lots of baby carrots. And no, I'm not gonna bring both bags. I'll probably just take out probably a quarter of this bag, half the celery, and probably two of these cucumbers. That'll be enough for a couple of days. And then throughout our trip, we'll probably have to stop and stock up on fresh things again, but this will definitely get us started. Now, while traveling, I love these little snack containers. They are perfect for things like veggies. So you could put ranch in there if you're having veggies, or you could put peanut butter in there if you wanna have that with apple slices. So after the fruit and veggie category, I have the bar category. Now I love to travel with these because they're small. I like to choose the ones that don't melt very easily and they come in lots of fun flavors. Over in the back here, I have the Nature's Bakery Brownie Bars. My kids absolutely love these. They are super chocolatey like a brownie, but they don't melt and get all messy. And you guys, these are actually sweetened with dates. Now you guys, this flavor can be a little bit hard to find. The raspberry, the blueberry, and the original fig is definitely more popular, but my kids love these ones. I also picked up two boxes of Lara bars, and you guys, I had to get two because each box only has five bars, and we have six people in our family, and we all love these, especially the pineapple flavor. They don't have a ton of sugar, so yeah, we love those. And then over here, I got two different kinds of Z-Bar Kids. This one is in the s'mores flavor, which I know my kids will love. And then I also got the oatmeal flavor. Next, I picked up a few things with my husband and myself in mind. First, I picked up another bag of these coconut keto clusters. I get this at Costco and they are so good. They definitely taste like a treat. And then these I've never actually tried before, but they sound really good. This is the Parm Crisp Snack Mix. Now this is actually keto friendly as well, and this one happens to be in the ranch flavor. This includes almonds, the cheese crisps, cashews, and pistachios. 
And then another good thing I've never tried before but looks really good are these keto-friendly jerky sticks. So now moving on to the chip category. I know this looks like a lot of chips, especially all the Pringles over here, but at Target they were four for $5. And then I went ahead and got two more just to complete the rainbow. So we have the original, the honey mustard, which I've never tried. We have the cheddar, the sour cream and onion, the ranch, and the barbecue. And one thing I love about traveling with Pringles is that, of course, they come in this protective can so they don't crush as easily and you can just pop the lid back on if you don't eat them all. And so that's really convenient as well. And then back over here, I got two bags of pirate booty, but this is not the regular cheese kind. This one is actually veggie sticks. And then this one is mixed berry flavored sticks. Never tried that before, but it sounds really good. So now moving on to the treats category. These over here are definitely my kind of treat. I love these, don't get them that often, but these are the Quaker rice cakes. I love the caramel flavored one and the apple cinnamon one. Those are really good. And these are nice and sturdy, so they're not gonna get crushed that easily while traveling so that's great then for the kids i picked up both the little bunny graham crackers and the bunny cheese crackers and i thought about getting the big box but i like that these are individual so i can just give each kid one and it's already portioned out also from annie's i got a box of the fruit tape now this is almost identical to fruit by the foot so it's kind of like a fruit leather type treat and then something I know they are going to be super excited to see, these are the little Biscoff and Go snacks. Now this is not something I buy super often so it's definitely a fun treat. And these are kind of like the little Nutella ones but instead of Nutella it comes with the cookie butter. Which if you haven't tried it tastes a lot like a gingerbread cookie. So for this trip I am bringing back an old road trip hack that I used to do when the kids were really little. Back then, I used to take old baby wipe containers and I would load each of them with some snacks. I gave each kid their own little container. That way they could help themselves to whatever snacks they wanted and they didn't have to keep asking me every time they wanted a snack. Well, today, instead of using a baby wipe container, since we don't really have those anymore, we're gonna be using these mesh produce bags. They're about the size of a Ziploc bag, but of course they're reusable and they have a drawstring on them. They have four different color drawstrings, so hopefully we can remember whose is whose. And then the idea is that the kids will pick their own snacks for the day, they'll keep their snacks in their backpack, and yeah, they'll be able to help themselves and they won't have to keep asking me for a snack. So now moving on to the activities. I don't have a ton over here. The kids are gonna be getting some in their Easter baskets. I have a separate video on that if you wanna check it out. But these are the things that I just picked up for this trip specifically. From Amazon, I got this magnetic travel checkers set. You know, none of my kids actually know how to play checkers, so I'm hoping to teach a few of them on our travels. I love that you can close this up and hopefully not lose the pieces because they're magnetic. Another thing I got from Amazon is this United States Geography Bingo. Now I'm thinking this is gonna be better for the older kids, but since we're gonna be on the road, I thought this would be the perfect educational game. Hopefully they like it. For my kids that love to color and to draw, I picked up a new pack of colored pencils. These are the twistable kind. I also picked up a pack of the twistable crayons. And then I also got a pack of the washable markers. Next, in this lovely bin here, I have a bunch of fidget toys. Next, from Target, I picked up two sets of the Travel Bingo games, and I think this is really great because it's reusable. This is the kind where it has the little doors that you just close or open. This says ages four and up, so all the kids can play, and that is why I got two packs because each pack only comes with two little games, so of course I needed four for all of my kids. Next, I picked up two of the Melissa and Doug Travel Packs. Now I used to buy these for all of the kids, but the older two are not really into these anymore. So I just got this one for Griffin and I got this one for Lily. This one is actually a water reveal toy. So you fill the little pen with water 
and then you draw all over each page and the color just magically appears. And then you guys, once this is dry, you can do it again over and over. So I love that. And then for Lily, I got the restickable dress up stickers. Again, I love that these are reusable, so it's not just like a one and done type thing. So hopefully she likes that one. She's actually over in the corner right now listening to me. Do you like that one? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna like that one, you're excited? I also picked up four of these little color packs. I got a Peppa Pig, a, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> I also got a top wing and my favorite is the Onward. So of course these little packets come with a little coloring book, crayons, and stickers and they're only a dollar. Now the last time we went camping I bought myself one of these embroidery activity kits and it was time consuming but it was really fun and both of my girls asked me if I could get them one. These came from the dollar section of Target. I'm thinking that this one will be for Mackenzie because it's a little bit more involved and this one will be for Lily. Yay! I also picked up two of these embroidery pouches. I did one of these projects a few weeks ago and it was really fun so I just got two more but we'll see. These are just available for anybody who wants to give them a try. Oh yes and all of these come with a plastic needle so they're not dangerous at all. Next we have what I like to call the treasure chest. Now this kind of reminds me of what you might get after you visit the dentist, but actually these are fidget toys. So they each have like a some kind of button or a squishy or they make a noise. There's so many different things in here. These are just great for whenever you're bored or if you're feeling anxious. So yeah, lots of different fun things to keep you occupied in here. And then when I was at Five Below, I stocked up on the books. So I got lots of coloring books for just a dollar. We've got Baby Shark, Hello Kitty, Mickey and Friends, Toy Story. And then I also got a few books. I really like this one about kindness and community. I really like that one. And then for Lily, I got her this doodle class which teaches you how to make these really cute little drawings. Oh, and if you guys didn't know, the word kawaii in Japanese means cute. Now, of course, the kids can also bring their electronics, their headphones, and pretty much whatever else they want to bring within reason, as long as it fits in their backpack. That's the big rule because we don't have a lot of space, if it doesn't fit, it can't come with us. So here's what Lily decided to bring in her backpack. First I bought some unicorn books, a coloring pad, um, a sticker pad, coloring book, reusable stickers, sewing puss, um, <laughs> kawaii art class, um, card bingo, and crayons. And this thingy, and my tablet, and my snacks. Here's Mackenzie's. I have my backpack, my snack bag, my play pack, my Hello Kitty coloring book, my cottage core book, my Harry Potter book, my cross stitch kit, my Disney game, my pop, my pop fidget toy, my crayons, and my favorite thing, my Nintendo Switch. Here's Jackson's. We have my snack bag, balloon dog toy, Mad Libs, Water Wow, Whack a Mole thingy, sewing bag, poppets, travel bingo, tablet, book, coloring book, coloring pack, and a magnetic travel checker set. and griffins. I have my backpack, my snack bag, my coloring pack, my cars, my tablet, water owl, pop toy, sick book, and my ABC toy. I hope this video gave you some good ideas on what you can bring on your next road trip. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.